Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Subaru Outback 3.6R Touring. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. SUVs and wagons each have their unique places in the automotive spectrum. But what if you're not truly enamored with the format of either one? Thankfully, there's a solution, the 2019 Subaru Outback. It has the shape and driving style of a wagon, but with the ex extra capability typically associated with an SUV. We can see the model highlights here. Um, highway MPGs, 32 miles to the gallon. City, 25 miles to the gallon. Standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. The ground clearance, 8.7 inches. And storage, up to 73.3 cubic feet. I suspect that's with the back seats folded down. For 2019, there's a couple new things for the, uh, for the Outback. Subaru's EyeSight Driver Assist Suite is now standard on all Outbacks. And the base 2.5i trim gets additional USB ports. We can also see here under the Outback Advantage, they say 28 combined miles per gallon with all-wheel drive. That's standard. And then their standard eyesight driver assist system with automatic pre-collision braking. Let's take a look to let's take a minute to look at both of these. But before we do, let's talk about how this build and price review works. If you haven't um, seen any of my videos before, well, this is the outview page. We can see the links up top here. Here's the outview page, overview page. We're going to go over this page, get a general idea, a good starter information on the brand new Outback and then we're going to go take a look at the gallery so we'll look at all the pictures the exterior photos the interior photos of the Outback then we'll click on features and learn all about the features that'll be performance technology the all-wheel drive system all that there anything they want to tell us about their features that they think is most notable they're going to let us know we'll read about that then we'll look at the models we'll look at all the different trim levels because there's quite a few different trim levels of Outback yep we're going to do the 3.6R Touring, but there's other trim levels from base to Touring to all in between. So we're going to look at all, the, all those different configurations of the 2019 Subaru Outback. All right. And then finally, we'll do a build in price of our 3.6 liter Touring. All right. That said, let's get a closer look at how the Outback beats the Ford, the Jeep, and the Hyundai. Okay, so here it goes. It says, the Outback offers a choice of durable Subaru boxer engines combined with a fuel-efficient Linotronic CVT, that's the transmission, to deliver up to 32 miles per gallon on the highway. And with Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive, balanced power is sent to each wheel for maximum grip and efficiency. Okay, so uh, they got the Ford Edge, 2018 Ford Edge, the Grand Cherokee Laredo, and the Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. Real quick, I'm actually going to put a link up to the 2019 Hyundai Santa Fe. I did the ultimate edition. Really nice vehicle. I'll put a link up. Uh, anyway, so we can see that uh, the Subaru eclipses these on gas mileage, not by a little bit, by a lot. The Grand Cherokee's really hurting. So we can see that. That's cool. Over here on that next module, it says with Outback EyeSight Driver Assist technology, that comes standard. An extra set of eyes on the road, and if need be, an extra foot on the brake when you drive. This advanced system provides extra awareness, safety, and added peace of mind. Of on every every time you drive, and well, obviously none of the other <laughs> competitors have eyesight driver assist system. Do they have something that's comparable? Is really the thing. Do they have something that's comparable? So no, of course they don't have the exact same system. But let's not be so quick to assume that they don't have anything worth noting. But maybe they don't have anything that's direct. So here's how it's beating those other competitors. But you know. It's worth noting or taking a minute to look at the others and see. I highly doubt that the Jeep is, and probably the other ones aren't either. But, you know, it's worth finding out. All right, let's take a look at some exterior colors. And real quick, I hadn't mentioned it. We can see up here that the starting MSRP is $26,345 for a 2019 Subaru Outback. That price goes all the way up to $38,995 for for the 3.6R Touring. That is the MSRP, the base starting price of the build and price we'll be doing for this video. Anyway, let's take a look at some of the colors, or look, we'll take a look at all the colors, actually, not just some of them. We'll look at all of them. Uh, here's Wilderness Green. There's the Crystal White Pearl. Tungsten Metallic. I like it. 
Abyss Blue Pearl, Magnetite Gray Metallic, Ice Silver Metallic, Cinnamon Brown Pearl, Crimson Red Pearl, and then finally they're going to have the Crystal Black Celica, I think, maybe, Crystal Black Celica. I'm kind of feeling the Tungsten Metallic myself. I kind of like the color. It's kind of like a bronzy color, and I like that. All right, here is the interior. Uh, slate black cloth, this one is. This here interior color or trim selection is slate black leather, which looks quite nice. You've got the warm ivory cloth. Uh, and then in, in cloth, yeah, and then you have that warm ivory in leather. So they're just showing us both variants. And then you have this Java brown leather. Now, this Java brown leather is, I know that on the 3.6R Touring, it comes standard. Is it exclusive just to that one? We'll find out, but I suspect that it's exclusive just to the 3.6R. I know that, for instance, on the new 2019 Subaru, Out, or sorry, Subaru Ascent, um, and I have, I've done a video to that. I'll put a link up. I believe the top of the line model on that is the Limited, and that's what comes with the same Java Brown. So anytime you see this Java Brown interior on a Subaru, then that means it's the top tier model for sure, and it's loaded. And part of the reason why we're doing the 3.6 is because most Subarus on the road are not loaded at all. They're, they're usually pretty thinly optioned. And so it's my job to make sure that when I do a Subaru, we're going to option these things nice because this is how I like to see a Subaru on the road. So if you like the way I'm doing this, just as an aside, you can uh, download the build summary in the description below. All right, let's move on. There's the titanium gray cloth, and then, of course, there'll be the gray leather. All right. So far, I really do think the Java Brown looks pretty good, although the black leather is nice as well. Now, like I said, we'll take a look at the full features page here in a minute, but obviously, obviously on the overview page, they're still going to let us know about some of the notable features. For instance, symmetrical all-wheel drive that gets up to 32 miles per gallon. It's built to last. You do see a lot of these things on the road, at least here in the Pacific Northwest where I live. They're all over the place. Um, 8.7 inch ground clearance and X mode. We'll find out what X mode is. Uh, flexible cargo carrying versatility. And of course, the Subaru boxer motor. Now, before we move on to the next little piece, I want to talk about some pros and cons because every vehicle, no matter how awesome it is or no matter how bad it is, will have some pros and have some cons. So the Outback is no different. That said, let's talk about the four pros, the four upsides, or the four positives I've noted about the Outback. Number one, it's got a spacious and comfortable cabin. Number two, the roof and cargo loading heights are lower than those of most SUVs. That's, that's utility. If you need it, it's nice that you don't need to stand on a ladder or something. Number three, excellent visibility in all directions. And number four, off-road ability is above average. So that's really cool. On the con side, I have just three. Acceleration is lackluster, especially with the uh, four-cylinder engine, and then sensitive gas pedal at low speeds, and modest handling capabilities. All right, let's move on. So after telling you those cons, we can talk about some uh, how we can go back to talking about positive stuff, because now we're looking at the website. Comfortable environment. So spacious premium interior, the Subaru Starlink multimedia system, or command or infotainment system, I should say. Premium audio, 60-40 split folding rear seat backs, power rear gate, power seats with memory, and Outback Touring, right? That's our model. We like the Touring. We will check out the interior features shortly. Let's move on down this page. Here they're talking about some of their safety features, safe and secure, eyesight driver assist technology. I have a feeling that throughout this video they're going to be talking about that everywhere. So we're going to see, about, we're going to see it all the time, I bet. Subaru Starlink safety and security. LED steering responsive headlights and high beam assist, blind spot detection and rear cross traffic alert, rear vision camera and reverse automatic braking, active torque vectoring. What they don't tell us is, is all this stuff standard technology, I'm sorry, standard equipment, or is some of it optional? Surely it's not all standard equipment. We know that. We know that already. Um, let's move on. It's worth noting their little section here on, the, on their, uh, you know, their accolades, the 2018 IIHS top safety pick uh, when you get the steering responsive headlights, so surely that's an option. 
The 2019 Subaru Outback retains its value better than any other vehicle in its class. I know that's right. Uh, and then built to last. 98% of Subaru Outback vehicles sold in the last 10 years are still on the road today. That is very, very true. That is very, very true. They're all over the place, and it doesn't matter how rough they seemingly look. They keep going. So that's why I want to take a note to uh, stop. There's a few more slides here, so let's take a look see what else they have to say. Lots. So five-star safety. 2019 Subaru Outback earned top marks with a five-star overall vehicle score from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. And then the 10 best all-wheel drive vehicles under $25,000. And then, and that was from Kelly Blue Book. And then again from Kelly Blue Book, there's the 12 best family cars for 2018. It was named uh, one of the 12 best family cars for 2018 from Kelly Blue Book. Final slide, best-selling. says the Subaru Outback is the best-selling all-wheel drive CUV in its class for the past 10 years. Highest model loyalty. Subaru Outback has the highest model loyalty in its class for three consecutive years. You know, I'd, be t I, I, I'd probably believe that. I test drove the 2019 Subaru Ascent at a local Subaru dealership here, and that place was packed. It was packed. People already know they like these cars. They Seemingly, people were coming in ready to buy. <laughs> so anyway, 2018 Best Family Car, Parent Magazine, and Edmonds have named the Outback a Best Family Car of 2018. Cool. All right, let's move on. I think we're about done. Well, we're getting towards the end of the overview page. Well, this is the end of the overview page, and they're talking about the model lineup. We're going to not look at the full model lineup now. We're going to go in sequential order, so we are going to look at the models. But let's talk about the models a little bit. Now, obviously, you know, for me, the ideal outback is the 3.6R Touring. Give me the top level. Only because most Subaru Outbacks, most Subarus on the road just seemingly aren't very well optioned. So that just bugs me. But if you don't have a lot of ducats, then roll with the 2.5i Premium. Like I said, we're going to look at all the configurations. But here's the deal with the 2.5i Premium. It comes with a bright and large 8-inch infotainment screen, dual-zone climate control, and heated power-adjustable front seats. It's priced competitively to a similarly equipped Honda CRV or Toyota RAV4. The Outback also gets you a robust all-wheel drive system. And here's the deal. Not everybody throws it. These, most, a lot of these SUVs are standard with front-wheel drive. you got to pay another $2,500 or three grand or whatever it is to get all-wheel drive. Well, Subarus come standard with all-wheel drive. Again, the 2.5i Premium, in addition to that, uh, comes with a clever fold-away roof rails and better standard technology features. And although the 2.5-liter engine isn't, a standout in acceleration is rather weak. It's good enough if you don't plan on doing any towing. All right, that was a mouthful. <laughs> Let's move on and take a look at the gallery. Okay, so the way it looks to work is there's exterior photos and interior photos, video and 360. We're not going to do the videos, nor are we going to do the 360, but we will take a look at the exterior photos, and then we'll look at the interior photos. All right, here we are. Here's the 3.6R Limited. And I'm not going to read off all of these. You can see the, the little snippet of information down here in the corner. They give you this little sentence. What we really want to do is just kind of, you know, look at their photos, take a look at the vehicle, look around in the background, <laughs> um, all that there. Yep. The, the reality is, is how many people are out there buying their Subarus and then going out and, and living out and doing all this, you know, wilderness stuff. I mean, look how this guy's dressed. You are not going anywhere out camping or whatever. Look how you're dressed, guy. You're not doing anything. All right. Um, yeah. Looks good. It's not a bad-looking vehicle. It's an attractive vehicle. The, I, yeah, they were, the previous generation was really ugly. This one looks better. What I do know is that Subarus normally go about five or six years in their product cycle. So I bet you this car is about to get a, another update soon because I think this... I think this design is getting to be about a little long in the tooth. I think it's been around for a minute. All right, there's our last photo of the exterior. Let's move on to interior photos. The interior photos are more fun. Um, this uh, Java Brown is just gorgeous to me. This car is really nice. The Subarus are attractive. I mean, I'm not a fan, meaning like I probably don't want one, although I think the WRX is kind of cool. But the interiors I'm very impressed with. I'm impressed with the interior. There's available power rear gate. 
It says here's an available Starlink 8-inch multimedia navigation with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Pandora integration. Hmm. I like the Pandora app thing. Available dash panel with silver stitching and premium trim accents. Available rear seat air conditioning vents, heated seat controls, and U.S. charging ports. So you can get rear heated seats in the Subaru. You can see it's got a lot of plastic right there, but they still throw those heated seats in. Very good deal. And then available Starlink 8-inch multimedia navigation with TomTom navigation system. I, I don't know about you, but take a note here how on the actual temperature control dial itself is a digital display of the temperature. I love that. I love anybody. I love any car manufacturer that's doing that. I just I like that look. Uh, if you do, thumbs up this video. <laughs> uh, let's move on. I'm being silly. All right, available ten way power adjustable driver's seat with power adjustable lumbar support. That doesn't look good, and it's brand new. Imagine how this material, because it always gets scuffy marks around here. Imagine how ugly it's going to look in a year after it gets all these scuff marks around it, and nobody cleans that. <laughs> All right, uh, cargo area under floor storage tray. Guy's got his binoculars that he just threw in there so he can scratch the lens up. Got this nice mag light, though. Uh, there is the 60-40 split flat folding rear seat backs and spacious cargo area. There's the 2.5i Touring. There's a Java Brown, right? There's a Java Brown. So I guess that, that brown leather is available... Seemingly, it's available. It's available on more than one trim, I think. Seems like it. We'll get more specific when we get over to the models and we look at those configurations. We'll get real specific on that. And then here's the 60-40 split flat folding rear seat backs and spacious cargo area. Here's This is obviously an accessory here, but this is a all-weather cargo mat back here. And look, they got a big speaker back here. Um, yeah, it's a nice place. It's a nice, nice place. It's a nice vehicle. Okay, moving on, let's release yourself back into the wild. It says the Outback is designed with features important to you. Now we're on the features tab, if you didn't know. From comfort to cargo space to the latest tech and leading edge safety systems. All right, let's find out about the 2019 Subaru Outback features. First up is the standard symmetrical all-wheel drive with 32 miles to the gallon, designed for optimal balance and an even distribution of power for maximum traction. Standard symmetrical all-wheel drive makes for exceptional stability, impressive efficiency, and a quick response to driving conditions. Durable Subaru Boxer engines combined with a Linotronic CVT to deliver up to 32 miles per gallon highway, making the 2019 Subaru Outback the most fuel-efficient vehicle in its class, standard on all models. Right, standard on all models. I don't think we need to get any deeper on the all-wheel drive. We get it. You probably don't want to go that deep into the all-wheel drive. We get it. It turns all four wheels. It's probably smart. It's got torque vectoring. Okay. So that guy was just coming up here for the day with his boy, right? So that's why he wasn't looking like he was all geared out to do, like, some overnight stuff. Anyway, <laughs> built to last. 98% of Subaru Outback vehicles sold in the last 10 years are still on the road. Right, Some of this stuff is going to be redundant information and retains its value better than any other vehicle in its class according to ALG. Uh, that kind of durability and value is why Outback has the highest model loyalty in its segment according to the IHS market. Right, all right. Um, that didn't help us with anything, but this will. This will help us. All right, 8.7 inches of ground clearance and X mode. Let's find out about it. Standard on all modes or all models. Conquer almost any terrain with 8.7 inches uh, of ground clearance and standard X mode, which optimizes the symmetrical all-wheel drive system for maximum traction on slippery surfaces. X mode also incorporates hill descent control for stability and confidence when descending more difficult uh, grades. I think what it does is it uses the gearing of the transmission to kind of go slow so you don't keep gathering speed and momentum. I think that's what hill descent is as a blanket statement for any of these manufacturers. At least I had a BMW. X1 with hill descent, and that seemingly is what it did. It seemingly used the transmission to, to you know, trans brake its way down the hill so you weren't going too fast. Anyway, flexible cargo carrying versatility. This is standard on 2.5i, 2.5i premium, which I mentioned as your other choice. If you don't have the ducats for the 3.6Rs and all that there. Standard roof rails with integrated crossbars provide additional cargo carrying capability and can fold away when not in use. You get the versatility of hauling kayaks, bikes, skis, and cargo carriers 
on your adventures without added wind noise or reduced fuel efficiency on your daily commute. So you can just like, that's really cool. And then this engine, the Subaru Boxer engine. So the 2.5VI, 2.5 liter engine, makes 175 horsepower. And that gets up to 32 miles to the gallon. Then that 3.6R, that makes 256 horsepower, right? And that gives you a lot more performance and obviously more hauling power, towing power. Both, both engines boast a horizontal layout, offering natural balance and a low center of gravity. So now you know how all that works. Here they're talking about the comfortable environment, spacious premium interior. The Outback features up to 108.1 cubic feet of spacious passenger room and a stylish cabin for a refined feel and enhanced comfort. The interior features premium, soft touch materials, and attractive details, including stitching, or I'm sorry, stitch dash and door panel trim, noise reducing laminated front glass, side glass, and aerodynamic side mirrors help make the ride as quiet as it is comfortable. It is a good looking place. I know there's a lot of plastic, and I know that they've made soft touch materials where you normally touch, but it's a good looking place. I think they've done a really good job for the price point. Let's see, packed with technology. Here is the Subaru uh, Starlink multimedia system. Oh, okay. With clickable little um, things that are going to tell us information. Let's find out about it. So it says Subaru Starlink app. The Subaru Starlink app gives you access to a suite of Starlink cloud-based applications such as iHeartRadio, Yelp, Magellan Navi, and more via your in-vehicle multimedia touchscreen. App access and compatibility may vary by model. So then they've got all this stuff down here. Uh, best parking. So you can find the lowest rates at garages and outdoor lots. eBird. I won't read them all. If you want to catch it, then you can just um, you can pause the video so you can get that read in. And then here's E. I don't even know what that is. Your personal event planner and guide to events in over 2,000 cities. I guess some people are into it. Glimpse. iHeartRadio. There's that Magellan. And here's the digital version of your hard copy Subaru Quick Reference Guide booklet. That's all in there. Stitcher, 65,000 audio shows with sports talk and entertainment. Here's Yelp. Yeah, okay, so that's all that. Let's move on. So that was the Subaru Starlink. Let's learn about this AHA and see what this is all about. It says you'll never miss a beat. All your favorite online content, well organized and at your fingertips. So you won't miss a beat when you're on the road. Thousands of available stations are easy to customize and includes news, weather, Facebook, Twitter, music, podcasts, gas prices, and a lot more. Using a connected smartphone, the AHA mobile interface is duplicated on your vehicle's audio screen. Hmm. I don't really know anything about uh, AHA. There's somebody doing uh, listening to a TED Talk. And Slacker Radio. Pretty cool. Seems pretty cool. Let's find out about Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay, the ultimate co-pilot, is a smarter, safer way to use your iPhone in your Subaru CarPlay. Allows you to get directions, make calls, send and receive messages, and listen to music while keeping your focus on the road. Just connect your iPhone and get on up out of there. All right, let's scroll through that second photo. All right, so it's not color. That screen doesn't look color unless the photo is just not in color, but that's in color. So I guess the screen's not in color. Um, and that's it. They, they, they didn't have anything else to say. All right. What about Pandora? Take your Pandora stations along for the ride. No matter where the road may lead, great music is always at your fingertips. Pandora. Okay, we get it. Pandora's cool. I like Pandora a lot, actually. And not to, not to be funny, I actually like Pandora a lot. It's my favorite. Moving along, let's check out Travel Link. Oh, Sirius XM Satellite Radio Stay Entertained and Connected. Enjoy a four-month Sirius XM all-access trial subscription, including commercial-free music, plus sports, news, talk, and comedy. It's the freedom of over 175 channels to enjoy from coast to coast. Uh, streaming is also included with the trial, so you can rock your ride, plus listen anywhere online and on the Sirius XM app, plus navigation-equipped Subaru models. Come with a three-year subscription to Sirius XM Traffic and Travel Link Services. Let's check the other photo. All right. There is no limit to your entertainment. Sirius XM Traffic. Sirius XM Travel Link. 
Right. Lots of goodies on that. I think there's like one more thing to look at, isn't there? I think so. Right. Android Auto. Uh, whether you, So basically the same thing as the iPhone. Right. It's going to allow you to do what? Um, touch targets. So it's got uh, larger touch targets, simplified interface, easy to use voice controls. They don't really tell you what all it does, but surely it take and receive text messages, all that kind of stuff. Check your music. Uh, probably do navigation, all of that. Premium audio system, Harman Kardon. Every adventure needs a great soundtrack, so the Outback features an available Harman Kardon premium audio system with 12 speakers and a 576-watt equivalent amplifier. That's standard on 2.5 Limited, 2.5 Touring, 3.6R Limited, and the 3.6R Touring, which we will be doing. So here it says, no matter what the journey holds, the Outback is equipped to help you pack accordingly. So there's a load up button, and then there's like camping, beach, and skiing. You see where this is going, don't you? Let me click load up, load it up. Bloop! There it is. All your stuff fits. Let's go to the beach. What's at the beach? Um, unload it, right? Load it up. That's the beach. Unload it. Let's go to skiing, for instance, and there's all that. Let's load it up and unload it. Now, only if we could unload it and load it that easy. Okay, moving on. The 60-40 split folding rear seat back, the Outback comes standard with these seats. Uh, featuring available cargo area release levers that provide flexible cargo space for all your adventures. That's standard because they don't say that it's available on any particular model. So that must be, yeah, it's a standard, duh. Power rear gate. And that's only available on the 2.5 Limited. And, well, you can see them. I don't have to read it, right? You get it. Open and close the available power rear gate with the push of a button on your key fob or by controls on the dashboard or the gate itself. The opening height can also be adjusted when clearance is limited. And then power seats with memory. Here's all the vehicles that it's available on. A 10-way adjustable power driver's seat with two-position memory function and four-way power front passenger seat Help make every ride comfortable for drivers and passengers alike. Outback Touring. The 2.5i Touring and... Come back here, please. <laughs> the 2.5i Touring and 3.6r Touring models provide an extra touch of refinement and comfort. Here's the Outback Touring. This thing's a slider. We can't stop it. So it just basically breaks down all of that. We're going to find out. The Java Brown Leather, that's exclusive Java Brown Leather. All right. Then there's the heated steering wheel. The heated steering wheel gives you hands. You know, obviously we know what a heated steering wheel does. And then that overview. I want to try to catch this one more time. Java Brown upholstery, heated steering wheel, unique wood grain pattern interior, 18 inch machine wheels, low profile roof rails. I think we caught it all. They shouldn't assume that you can read that fast, especially maybe I'm talking. So, you know, whatever. There should be a pause feature there on that last slider, shouldn't there? Anyway, safe and secure. So standard, let's find out a little bit more about it. Standard EyeSight driver assist technology that's standard on all the models. Uh, let's read a little bit more about it. The confidence of EyeSight is now a standard feature for the first time on the Outback. This advanced safety technology monitors traffic movement, optimizes cruise control, and warns you when you're swaying outside your lane. The pre-collision braking feature can even apply full braking force bringing you to a complete stop in emergency situations, reducing rear-end crashes with injuries by 85%. An extra set of eyes on the road, adding confidence to every trip. It's another way. So yeah, 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 got that part. On their Subaru Starlink again. Like I said, some of this stuff's redundant, but they're giving us a little bit more information each time. Starlink safety and security includes automatic collision notification to send first responders when an airbag deploys. Enhanced roadside assistance, stolen vehicle recovery, and the added convenience of remote services. Whether you're in the vehicle, at your computer, or on your mobile device, Starlink safety and security helps keep you and your Outback safe. And then it's available on these following models. And, of course, it's available on the 3.6R Touring. That's another reason why I like to do the top-tier models sometimes. Depends on the vehicle. Depends on the price. But, you know, they hold off all the good stuff for the higher models. And so to get, you know, the best of the, of the model... Sometimes you got to spend a little bit more money so you can get all the safety and the tech and, and all of that. Otherwise, it kind of, well, it doesn't take it away, but it, it's just nice to be able to get a nicely equipped car. Then we've got the LED steering responsive headlights and high beam assist. It says get a clearer look around every bend with available LED steering responsive headlights 
which actively track in the direction of a turn to enhance visibility. Available high beam assist can automatically switch the headlights between the high and low settings when an oncoming vehicle is detected, enhancing safety for both you and other drivers on the road. And then the steering responsive headlights, it's standard on just the 2.5i tour on just the touring levels. And then it's available on some of these other ones. And then the high beam assist, what it's standard on and what it's available on. Okay, let's move on. Then we have blind spot detection and rear cross traffic alert, like when you're at the grocery store backing out. So the system will warn you with a visual indicator in each side mirror if it sets a vehicle in your blind spot. Now, with the available rear cross traffic alert, helps warn you of traffic approaching from the side as you are backing up, utilizing an audible warning and flashing visual indicator in your side mirror uh, and rear vision camera display. Cool. And what vehicle is that available? And let me scroll down so we can see all of that. So you can see all that. And then there's the rear vision camera and reverse braking and reverse automatic braking. A standard rear vision camera enhances rear visibility when backing up. Its display includes guidelines to help you see the vehicle's path and judge distance to other objects. And with available reverse automatic braking, your vehicle can even stop itself to avoid objects behind while in reverse. Okay. And the rear vision camera is standard on all models, but the reverse automatic braking is only standard on the touring levels, whether it's 2.5i or 3.6, and then it is available on the limited levels. And then finally, there's active torque vectoring, which is standard on all models. I'm sure it says vehicle dynamics control, VDC, with active torque vectoring helps provide sharper, more stable handling. It automatically senses steering and braking inputs to help keep the vehicle on the driver's intended path. They probably didn't have a really easy way to explain how sophisticated the system really is. All right, well, that was all our features. Let's take a look at these models. I said we'd look at all these models, and let's look at these models. So let's just start with the base price, base model and work our way up through all these configurations. All right, so you got the base 2.5i. That starts at 26345 It gets 32 in the city, 25 on the highway. The key features, they all get all-wheel drive. They all get the eyesight driver assist technology. They all get that vehicle dynamics control with the active torque vectoring. We just read that. They all get the 8.7 inches of ground clearance. The Subaru Starlink multimedia with the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. That's all standard. I mean, here's the deal. On a BMW that costs lots more money, you get a one year, you get a subscription service to the Pandora. I'm sorry, not the Pandora, to the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto. Subaru's just giving it to you. Then you got the raised roof rails with integrated crossbars. If you move up to the premium, which is a couple grand jump, sort of, kind of, that gets all the same features, but now you get the blind spot detector, the rear cross traffic alert, you get the 10-way power driver's seat, you get fog lights now, you get an all-weather package with heated front seats, you get dual zone automatic climate control. Now, what do you get at the next tier up? The next tier up is the 2.5i Limited, right? The 2.5i is the small motor, the four-cylinder motor with 175 horsepower. But now you get leather interior, though, for just over $32,000. You get that Harman Kardon 12-speaker, uh, 576-watt stereo, 18-inch wheels, all-weather package, heated front and rear seat, heated front and rear seats. We're talking thirty grand here. Keyless access with push-button start, power rear gate. That's a lot for $32,000. Now, if you're feeling extra sporty, you can move up to this 2.5i Touring. Now that gives you that exclusive Java Brown leather trimmed interior, low profile roof rails, heated steering wheel, GPS navigation, LED steering responsive headlights, power moonroof. You got it loaded now. Now it's loaded. And then, of course, subsequently, you've got the 3.6R Limited and the 3.6R Touring. The 3.6 gives you all, I mean, it's the same vehicle as the 2.5i, the 2.5i Limited. The only difference is is it gets a different engine. Now it gets a 256 horsepower, six-cylinder engine. And then the Touring version is the same as the 2.5i Touring. The only difference is the engine. You get a bigger engine, and I want more power. So that's why we did that. All right, well, we've gotten through all those tabs. So the only thing left to do now is to start our building price. So we're going to do that. Starting price for this 3.6R Touring, uh, online anyway, is just under $40,000. 
you have only one choice in transmission for colors now you know I said that I liked the oh okay I get it guess what I forgot about this so now the 3.6 liter apparently only gives you four exterior colors it wasn't that whole palette we looked at oh 30 minutes ago <laughs> it's not that anymore we're not in Kansas anymore so now we've got either the wilderness green no wonder you see them all running around we've got the crystal white pearl and then we have the black of course and then finally ending on the cinnamon brown now the reality is I don't like any of these colors for this particular car but you know what I'm gonna go with the wilderness green because I think the Java brown interior is gonna play well on that color and so that's why we're gonna do that that's probably why it was the standard default setup too next up is packages there are no packages to get on this 2019 Outback 3.6 Touring because it already comes standard with loads of features let's look at the standard features all right we've got that 3.6 liter engine makes 256 horsepower makes almost 240 well almost 250 pound feet of torque it makes 247 it's got that x mode i'm not going to read everything you could always pause if you want to make sure you catch everything most of this we've already seen and read anyway, like the XMO, the Hill Descent, Active Torque Vectoring. We already know all that. Fuel economy is 27 in the, on the highway, 20 in the city, so it's significantly uh, down. You only need to put the cheap gas in this one, 87 octane. It's got an 18.5-gallon fuel tank. It's got a brake override system. I'm just kind of saying things that are popping out to me. Um, windshield wiper de-icer. LED steering responsive headlights. It's got the fog lights. It's running... Relatively standard 225, 60, 18 wheels. And the interior, leather trimmed upholstery, right? Wood grain. We know about all that. Amenities. Here are our amenities. Keyless access, power rear gate, three-spoke uh, multifunction steering wheel, transmission with paddle shifters, front seats with USB ports and rear USB ports, Eight ports, USB ports all around, <laughs> eight cup holders, overhead console, sun visors, dual zone climate control, the premium audio system, the Starlink 8-inch multimedia navigation. It's going to have all the safety tech, all the safety tech. They have brake override system. They already put that down twice, didn't they? LED uh, daytime running lights, tire pressure monitoring system, traction control, side curtain airbags. Seat mounted front side impact. It's loaded. The vehicle's loaded. Keyless entry, anti theft, collapsible steering wheel. That's for crashes and stuff like that. All right. I think we've got the standard features down. Let's continue. I guess all that's left really is the accessories because, like they said, it's already optioned so well. All weather floor liners. Well, let's kind of just sift through the common ones first. Rear bumper cover. I, that's, well, that's standard. Perfect. Auto dimming exterior mirrors. I like that. Let's do that. Let's just kind of click the ones we like. All weather floor mats. The rear seat back protector. I like that because who knows what you're shoving in the back seat that'll ruin the back seats. So I like that. The mud flaps or splash guards. I like that. I don't need the wheel arch molding. I do think the LED upgrades would be nice. But I don't know why they don't just do that anyway then. And I think this portable step is pretty cool. The rest of this stuff... Let's see what they have for audio. I don't think we need a tweeter kit. <laughs> uh, what about comfort and convenience? Ashtray. Right. This is all stuff that you can go back to the dealer at any time to get. Now, I'm a big fan of the compass. Oh, it's standard. Perfect. I'm a big fan of that stuff. Uh, the cargo tray. That's standard. That's cool. Seemingly the stuff that I'm kind of interested in. Remote engine start. I kind of like that, but I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, well, actually, you know what? I am going to worry about it because I like it. I'm building the car that I want to drive. So, yeah. Uh, protection and security. What do they have here? What do we have here? Oops. I kind of got ahead of myself, didn't I? Uh, it's right up here. There we go. Oh, some of this stuff's redundant. Car cover. Yep, give me the car cover. Car cover bag. It doesn't come with the car cover? Give me the bag, man. Jeez. Wow. Fog light kit, we have that. Security system shock sensor? What is that all about? What's that all about? Activate security system alarm when impact to the vehicle is detected. Well, doesn't it already have that already? I guess not. 
we won't worry about that one because we have a security system. So I'm not going to get it all complicated. Splash guards, we got wheel locks. Let's get the wheel locks. We don't need the emergency kit. Severe weather can... You know what? I am going to buy into it. Let's do it. Let's do it. When I saw that little shovel, that sold me. Let's get, let's get all that. You're in the Subaru where you might be out hiking like that boy and his dad were doing. You might need some of this stuff. STI equipment. I don't think we need the pedals. That would look straight goofy. Style. Uh, footwell illumination, bumper undercover guard. Yeah, probably. Bumper undercover guard for the rear. Yeah. Lifestyle, that could be what? Anything. Oh, right. That's bike racks and stuff. None of that stuff we can skip right on over. All right. So, as you, well, besides the portable step that I like. So you can see, honestly, let's go to um, the summary and I will print this off. So if you like this build, of this Subaru and all the little options and accessories, I'll put the build summary in the description below. You'll be able to download the PDF. All right, so this vehicle started off at just under $39,000. It's for, it's un, just under $42,000. And all we were doing was really playing with what? Playing with accessories because it already comes really loaded. So if you dropped off all those accessories, it'd be a lot cheaper than this still. So I think the vehicle's really nice. Again, I'm not really a Subaru guy, but that doesn't mean that I don't appreciate the car. I think it's a good car. It's a good car. All right. I think we're at the end. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you're still here, you're awesome. I mean, you really are awesome. Get a hug from somebody because you're that awesome. All right. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you for joining me. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Please share a video and please comment. I would appreciate all those things. Have a wonderful day.